Let's talk about open and closed bidding. Hello everyone, this is Neeraj Khanna, your favorite realtor, giving you all the information what you need to make you successful in the real estate world. Well, you heard about the bidding wars going on. I mean, obviously it is a true thing. So let's talk about an open and closed bid. We also heard that in the news that our current government probably going to propose uh, a new law for the open bidding. So let's talk about advantages and disadvantages of the open and closed bidding. So let's go, you know, imagine a scenario. You are a buyer goes into the market and when you see the properties, you absolutely fall in love with one property and you decided to put an offer on the property. You put an offer and next thing you notice there is another offer came in and while well, you're still hoping to get it, you want to win that bid, right? This is what you're hoping but next thing you notice is that the other buyer uh, put way higher, uh, the, the offer price is way higher than the asking price of the property and guess what, your offer is out of the what, you know, out, out of the game right now and you lose that deal. Well, guess what you do it again, you go back again and next thing you notice, there are 10 more buyers are putting that offer on the property and it drives and pushes up the property value way higher up and it frustrates you. It is frustrating. One thing to notice here is realtors use what's called a comparative market analysis, CMA in a short form, to figure it out what's the value of the property of a new listing that's coming up in the market. Well, if one property sells for a way higher price, guess what? What's going to happen to the next property? It's going to sell for a higher value as well. This way, it becomes very, very hard for a first-time home buyers and obviously, you know, the millennials to, to crack into the market or get a property into the market and he loses and they have to choose different scenarios or different property types. Now, these are the disadvantages of a closed bid. However, there are some advantages also. Advantages is, let's talk about from the seller's perspective. Seller can save his time by number one, flushing out all the offers which are low bid offers to the seller and the seller is not willing to deal with this. They can simply flush it out and reject the offers. Number two, because generally there is a one time and a one date, like date and a time is fixed for the offer presentation date, it saves everybody time. One sitting, seller decides who to give and nobody knows what was offer price on like you know, my competitor put, what the conditions were, how much deposit, closing date, so on and so forth. And let's talk about when, when these things happen and this concept of open bid comes out. So open bid as a name suggests, which means you know everything about every other offer. And this is where our government is proposing this idea to having an open bid. So when it says everybody knows about every every offer, that's more of become an auction, auction of the property. Now imagine another scenario that you put an offer, you know the amount that your competitor offer, you know the deposit that they're giving, you know the closing date, you know the conditions and other things which are related in their offer. That could also be related with if they want to sell their property at such and such date or such and such time and such and such address. So they have to declare that if it's in the condition, they have to mention and guess what? Everybody knows about the address, the date and the time and the deposit and the closing date and everything. And not only you know theirs, your offer, everybody knows about your offer too. Now having said that, which means it's given multiple chances to multiple buyers to bid again. Like an auction, you can improve on it. You can't fix a date or time will become a little bit more harder for, for the seller and also for the real estate professional and also for the buyer. And if you're working in different timing, obviously it creates a little bit more problem for you as well because if they put one time and that is, and you gotta be like present there to do that, you may or may not uh, be able to accommodate that. So, as per the Ontario Real Estate Association, they also project when uh, when it's an open bid, the buyer may have to disclose way more information 
about themselves when they're presenting because you're gonna go to everyone and also it may change the seller's decisions also which may or may not be favorable now having said that these are the disadvantages uh, of of the open bed and the advantage of the open bed is this everybody knows about every offers and every part of the offer this is the advantage of it will that more help to control it eh, it may be it may I think pushes a buyer to take more emotional decisions because if somebody else is doing it as as we know that we have seen that in auction sometimes people people and end up paying more for the same price so having said that is a little bit more um, you know our privacy is important or not I will leave it up for you to decide please leave the comments below this video let me know what your thoughts are I look forward to connecting with you remember this is Neeraj Khanna your realtor ready to connect with you my number is 647-282-8078 I look forward to seeing you have a great one bye bye